<clears throat> okay, so we have the geometry. We have four panels and uh, we have um, some nodes. But then uh, we should always check if the geometry has uh, okay numbers. The easiest way, I think, is just to check, uh, create a, a bar and see what is the length of it. It's 24 uh, four meters, so everything is fine. So importing uh, in meters to uh, from <clears throat> AutoCAD to robot, it's um, pretty convenient. Let's go. Uh, then and uh, <clears throat> added the supports. Let's go for the linear pinned and let's just uh, go for the edge. Uh, sorry, uh, for the one more time. Support linear and pinned. Yes, and then we have the support. So now we can take care uh, a little bit about the thickness. And we see that by default it's uh, concrete, so we want to have a steel plate. Here you can change the steel to S355, which is maybe not accurate, most accurate uh, steel for the uh, steel plates. But uh, anyway, let's do it like this still plate and 100 millimeters it will be the same uh, thickness or height of the cross section as we used in the beam so let's click add and let's maybe make uh, another one 50 millimeters five centimeters let's click add and then when i go for the 100 uh, I click all and just apply and here, when I'm clicking on the panel, I am checking if it's still plate 100. It is, the material is OK. And then we see that it has got reinforcement turned on, which maybe will not <clears throat> <clears throat> destroy our model, but we don't want to create a reinforcement in the post-processing. So maybe it's not uh, the best also way to, to have it. Uh, then we have our model. Uh, let's uh, create loads. Unfortunately, we have to do it one more time. So self-weight, uh, uh, snow and wind. Wind is uh, added. Then we can go for the um, definition. And uh, right now we see that uh, we should have a surface uh, load and uh, this one. And let's start from the wind this time. So uh, we have local uh, minus 0 0.2. Let's check the, the axis system. We see that this is a little bit, this axis system of this panel, it's 90 degrees uh, rotated uh, according to this. We will change it in a second, but uh, Let's just add this panel. Um, we want to have um, a sucking on the surface. So then uh, it should be with plus. Add and here, and we have, and on this two, we want to have uh, 0 0.5. Okay, and on this we want to have a, a pressing um, pressure 0 0.25, but on the minus. Let's click add and let's give it. Okay, then we have exactly the same solution as we have in our B model. Let's go for the snow. Uh, here we can change the snow. Let's use global projected load and uh, minus two. Mm, yes, click add and just add on all of the surfaces. Okay, so we have uh, our load cases. Uh, we have to do manual combination. ULS, just want to see what is what. Uh, click apply, close. Uh, let's go for the one more manual combination. Let's go for the new SLS a combination SLS. Okay, let's mark um, three. Click apply. Let's make a new one. This time it will be buckling. Buckling will make uh, on the SLS and click OK. And then I will just create um, this one. 
and nonlinear. So, uh, I'll use uh, ULS. Go for this one and click uh, apply. Uh, yeah, no, right now um, uh, we can run the calculations. Um, the mesh uh, right now, leave it like it is. Uh, it's maybe not the perfect one, but we will want to see what is. Uh, uh, we will see if something strange uh, is happening with the. Um, uh, stresses and then adapt the mesh to, to according to the solution which we have. Um, <clears throat> so right now, let's uh, check the deformations. And we have uh, 39 millimeters, but let's check for the combination <clears throat> SLS. We have 28 when I remember you for the beam element. Mm, for the combination uh, SLS, we have 31, so it's just two millimeters of difference. Uh, it's not so bad. Uh, I would say it's uh, even pretty, pretty good. Uh, so, uh, but let's see what we can uh, observe in post-processing. Uh, 